What is going on guys, it is your boy Atomic Yin here and today ladies and gentlemen I'm going to be showing you guys how to get BOOM! This right here ladies and gentlemen is the streaming widget um, that Harris Hell uses in his live streams. Wait, Atomic Yin, who is Harris Heller? Norman, are you mental? Harris Heller is the stream doctor baby and I'm going to be showing you guys how to get your own music widget. So if uh, that video sounds interesting, make sure you uh, subscribe. It's all going to be right down here. Click the bell and uh, like the video. Otherwise, guys, otherwise, going to smack your booties. Let's get in it, guys. Roll the intro. So guys, uh, thank you for uh, uh, watching that sweet ass intro and thank you guys for hopefully uh, subscribing and liking the video because uh, we are on our way to uh, reaching the high limits of high. Uh, guys, I'm not a massive uh, uh, YouTuber right now, but hey, you know what, in the future I could be. I mean, to help you guys. So what you want to do, guys, is you want to go on the Pixel Chat uh, browser. So you got to go on Google, type in Pixel Chat, and then you'll be on this window right here. Now, guys, I just want to let you all know um, I have not written a script for this. This is all in the noggin. So, hey, you know what? If we mess up, I'll leave them, I'll leave the mistakes in there, right? We'll do this together. So, guys, you want to go on the menu here. Um, it's very simple to um, actually sort out, to be honest with you guys. You want to go to, I believe, overlays. There you go. So, I've got two now playing widgets. I've got um, now playing and I've got now playing copy. Now, what Harris Heller uses in his uh, YouTube, well, in his Twitch streams, um, I will play some clips, uh, you know, I'll probably go to them now. Um, but as you can see from scene one, he uses like a flat widget. And in his gameplay, he uses a elongated widget, which could then change the times of how long it appears on screen for. And you can have it so it appears on screen for 15 seconds and then disappears so it doesn't interrupt the gameplay. Or you can have a widget which lasts the full time, which is always on screen. Uh, which is the one that I showed you in the beginning of the video. So you've got options. So I would recommend having two. Uh, one for your just chatting screen and then one for your gameplay. But like I said, it's completely up to you. This widget is fantastic. And uh, yeah, let's uh, show you guys how to get it. So once you type in pixel chat and you go to overlays, guys. On the top right, it'll uh, say create a brand new overlay. And that is exactly what you got to do. You got to click this. And then you got to, you can either search, but hey, you know what, we'll scroll down. Uh, so you've got all different ones. You've got chat, shout outs, captions, emotes, uh, stats bar, timer, a now playing widget. That is the one we are looking for. And they've got a few others. I haven't actually gone through them. Uh, if you guys want, I can definitely look into them and uh, we'll do a tutorial for you guys. Uh, but for now, we're going to be doing the now playing widget. So there it is, guys. It is right at the bottom of the screen here. Uh, so we can open the widget, copy link, duplicate and edit. Um, I'm using Spotify today. Um, if you don't have it, guys, I would recommend you get Spotify. Guys, we got Spotify. All right, in the last video, we couldn't afford it. Now we're balling, baby. Uh, but also works with YouTube and all that. Blah, blah. So you would be fine. So you have the um, background tint, text, color, theme. Uh, it's going to come in handy. The large, guys, is the, uh, the longer, the portrait one, which you use for your gameplay. And I use small for my just chatting screen. Uh, so you've got all these different things. Um, you just want to scroll down. It stays open all the time. Only trigger command, uh, not on song change. And you get all these different options here. Uh, length of the pop-up as well. Uh, how long the actual pop-up appears on screen. So you can have it forever or you can have it for 10 seconds, 20 seconds, however long you want. So you might be thinking, why, why is it not saying uh, no username set? Well, guys, your username is your last FM username. And what you have to do is actually make an account with Pixel Chat. You don't have to pay for anything. It's all completely free. Um, I've already made an account, but I'm going to show you guys the steps you do. So you, you scroll all the way to the bottom and you click here to view setup tutorial. It's very simple, guys, honestly. If I can do it, you guys can do it. Um, it'll basically tell you what to do, guys. So it says the now playing overlay can be set up in two easy ways. Uh, for free Pixel Chat accounts, you can set using uh, the last.fm. However, Pixel Pro, which is the paid version, accounts can link Spotify directly to Pixel, uh, Pixel Chat, uh, get a couple extra fe uh, features like the ability to show the track Playhead. 
Now, I already have that, so I don't know what that means. Uh, we're going to run the free version, guys. Don't worry. The very first step is setting up your now playing uh, overlay is to create the last.fm account. Last.fm is a site that is designed to track the music that you play from pretty much any music streaming service. We use this data. So basically, all you do is you make a last.fm account and then the username will be in the section under underneath the um well the widget you know so where it says the last tra track fm uh, that's what username will be so all you do guys is it literally says to get started simply click here sign in make an account uh, once you have made an account you'll be brought to this page and it looks like this so all you do guys click here let me in and all you want to do guys is press connect on the spotify playback so play tracks on Last FM with Spotify Premium accounts. Oh, delali. That sounds pretty lovely. Uh, once you've done that, guys, it'll be, uh, hey, do you want Spotify to link with this? Blah, blah, blah. You want to press agree. And look, there you go. Spotify, track the music you listen to on Spotify. That's it, guys. That's all you need to do. Easy, right? How easy is that? So now what you want to do, guys, is on this screen, you will put your username in there. So you'll create your own username and then you'll uh, literally put it in here and I'll show you guys the setup. So let's go back to the home page and we'll go to my now playing widget. Uh, so let's do, for example, uh, this one. We'll edit. So like I said, guys, right at the bottom, like my username is atomic underscore yin. So once you've linked it and you click Spotify and you start playing some music, um, You'll get your alert up like this on the on this side, this side, um, which there all pops up. So I'm playing some Harris Heller right now. Free copyright music, by the way. So you guys can play around with absolutely everything. So you've got your style, your background tint. You can do that to black. You can do it to red. You can do it to whatever you bloody want, Jimmy. Oh, let's leave it there. Uh, you've got your text color. You can do your theme. So you can have like a, a large one. And it'll go like that, portrait mode. I have this for my gameplay scene. So I have this for my gameplay scene. And then I have the small for the just chatting screen, just because it's smaller. And um, you can do the change in the settings. So man's 160 right now. You can make it elongated. You can make it super short like this. What was man on? I actually forgot. Bloody hell, what was it on? Oh God, I don't have a clue. Was it like 120? Oh, I'll stick it to 120. I'll sort it, I'll sort it all there. Ah, uh, you know what? Screw it, it's fine. <laughs> you got your corner radius, man's 32 right now, so you can do it like a circle one. Or very blocky. I normally like to have like a little bit of corner cutting. So what was mine on 30? Let's go to 30. So something like that's kind of fine. Uh, what you got it? So this one, for my just chatting, uh, stays open all the time. So when I'm on the scene, it will stay open the full time, it won't go off, it'll stay on. Uh, so if you guys want that for your just chatting screens, uh, you want to leave that option on and running. Uh, only trigger on command, not on sun change. Uh, I think that's just for commands. If you set a command, yeah, there you go. Command to uh, trigger pop up. Uh, so if someone does exclamation point song, I think you can change that, guys. Yeah, you can change it. So if someone puts exclamation point, whatever you want, you can trigger it on command. So then it'll pop up. Depends how you want to do it. Uh, you got length of the pop-up so for example uh for example guys it stays open all the time you don't really need to mess with it because it's open all the time uh for example the elongated one if you want that to appear on screen and then appear then disappear uh, you can do length of the pop-up in seconds so i've got 15 seconds so when a song is starting to play it'll appear for 15 seconds and then disappear. So that's what I've got. So you can kind of copy my settings if you want, guys. And really, that's all you freaking need. And that's all uh, that's all, all you got there. And um, once you've kind of got everything, guys, go to your home page. Once you save everything, you should have your active overlays right here. And uh, what you can do... Oh, sorry, interactive overlays here. So you just copy link like this. So we'll copy the link. And then what you want to do is you actually want to go back to your OBS scene. So I'll change that now. So for example, I'm on my YouTube scene right now. And what we'll do is we will make a new browser setting. Oh, you guys can't see the screen. 
Oh, there you go, guys. We're on a, we're on a different scene. You can see, like, my, uh, my stuff right here. Um, but on this scene, guys, what you want to do is all you want to do is you want to go to uh, Browser. And you want to add a new browser. And you want to call it... Um, at, well, I call mine, like, uh, Now Playing Widget. Uh, so you want to do your Now Playing Widget. You want to press OK. You get a little browser source. What you want to do is you want to copy the URL. And you want to post it. You want to paste it, not post it. I think the width and height is good. Normally, it's uh, 1920 by 1080. So we'll change that now. Press OK. There you go, guys. So I want to point this out right now. Make sure you actually have your username written down below right here. Um, I didn't actually have my name written in because obviously I've already done my account and such. But make sure when you make a last.fm account, you put your username right there at the bottom. So now when I go back to my uh, screen here, you will see that the widget has now appeared. So guys, that's the song I'm currently playing on stream. So you can kind of place this around your screen. So you can have it up here, you can have it down here. You can make it as big or as small as you want. You can have it on top of your camera, something like this. And it's just a nice, really professional looking overlay that you can have on your screen. So let's just go back to my YouTube scene here. And there it is, right there. So there's loads of customized uh, ability, there's uh, customization uh, options, different colors and text and things. Uh, yeah, I believe that's everything. If it doesn't work, just literally refresh the properties and it all should be good. Um, but guys, any questions at all, let me know in the comment section down below. It is a very cool widget and I'll be more than happy to answer any questions. Uh, make sure you like the video and also subscribe yet again. I stream on Twitch every Monday, Thursday and Friday, building an awesome community. Uh, yeah, and it'll be awesome to kind of see you there. But guys, thank you so for more. Uh, so for thank you so much. <laughs> God, thank you so much for watching. This has been Atomic In. Thanks for tuning in. And I'll see you all when I see you all in the next one, baby. Peace.